hello guys and welcome back so with our save and load system completed now from this video onwards we will start to work on our main menus so as you know on this main menu scene right here we will create our main menu for our game so if we click on sprites right here we will use this image as our main menu background okay if you want you can create your own main menu in your own design but if you want to follow me then just follow me step by step okay so right here as you can see we have created this canvas and on the canvas we have this continue button so we will just simply delete that continue button now and let's name this as main menu canvas then inside this main menu canvas let's create a ui panel you can notice the panel okay and then on this panel let's drag and drop our image right in there then select this and let's make the a value or you can say the alpha value to its fullest which is 255 and now as you can see we have this panel right here okay so it looks good now let's click on this panel and make sure that it is on the middle center okay as you can see it is on the middle center now and if you click on it again let's click on this alt button and then click on that so that it stretch on the full screen like that okay so now inside this panel let's go ahead and click on ui then create another panel and now let's name this as main menu panel and let me click on the scene view okay now change into 2d mode let's click on this main menu canvas then we have this panel then we have this main menu panel okay now we will simply resize this so let's select the main menu panel and resize it till this point then right here then right here and let me select it from the bottom as well to this point okay let me scroll in okay so now if we check it in the game view as you can see it looks good right here we will be having our continue start and quit button okay let me just make this a little bit smaller even more and click on this and then click on middle left okay and when you do the transform of it to middle left then move it right here or actually right here and then move it up there okay and now if you check it in the game view here it is okay we need to now resize it again designing this ui in unity is i know a little bit hard okay so now i think it looks good as you can see but we can resize this even more like this okay now if we check it out again okay now it looks good okay now with this main menu now let's inside this main menu let's create a legacy button let's name this first button as continue button and then in there change the text to continue okay and for the font select this price dow or whatever it is named then make the text color white and if we click on continue button right here make this as transparent okay make the color image transparent or you can actually just remove this component from there if you want okay but you can transparent it as well and once you do that select this whole button click on it and make sure it is in the middle center okay and then select the text of this button make it 50 then select the button make the width of it as 300 and height to 50 now as you can see it looks good like that 
we can actually change into scene view now and turn on the gizmos as you can see this is our whole button so we will move it right here let's check it in the game view okay let's move it a little bit down below to that point now it looks good right there and now with our continue button added let's change the highlight color of this button to something like gray okay light gray and when it is pressed we will make it even more gray or actually black like that okay and the select color will be a little bit gray okay and then if you go inside the text inside the text of this button we will be needing to add a component which is by the name of shadow and once you add the shadow component make the x5 as you can see now there is a shadow behind the text and make the y as minus 5 and now as you can see the shadow right there okay you can change these values and set the shadow according to your own design okay now we have a shadow right there and we have the fully continue button now we can just duplicate this button move it down below to this point then let's name this button as start button then go inside this button change the text to start like that okay and that is it now after this start let's duplicate this and let's name this as quit button let me change this to quit button okay then let's move this quit button down below like that okay and then inside the quit button let's change the text to quit that is it and now as you can see we have a beautiful continue start and quit button but now let us make sure that they are in the middle of this whole thing so let's move it to this point and if we check it in the game you know as you can see they are on the middle okay so we have a beautiful continue start and quit button and as you know that in our previous videos we have created this main menu script so now in the next video we will make this button workable so with this done i will see you guys in the next one